Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for the love of glitter. I am Anna Crossland. Today I thought it would be a fun video to do my top five favorite highlighters from the drugstore. There are so many amazing highlighters out there, high end, but there's also some really great drugstore finds as well. So if you're trying to find a new drugstore highlighter, then you might want to keep watching this video in case there's one that you've never tried before. Before we get started, if you saw the title of my video, I need your guys' help. So I have applied along with like almost everyone else in the beauty community that you probably follow and maybe you've already done this for someone else. Um, but I'm asking if you would be willing to write a testimonial for my channel for the love of glitter or if you follow me on Instagram for the love of glitter. I have applied for the Sephora squad and anyone can do it. So even you could apply if you wanted to and um, it's at sephorasquad.com and what it is is Sephora is looking for different influencers supposedly it doesn't matter on how many people you have following you we'll see if that's true but basically you apply so I've already applied and what happens if you win is you can get free products that would be really helpful for my channel especially since I'm a stay-at-home mom right now it's hard to constantly afford all the brand new stuff I'm not on any PR lists I don't get paid for YouTube right now so it would be so helpful to keep my channel alive because I am a very small channel and I don't have any income so it would definitely be a very nice perk to be able to grow and keep going with my channel honestly they might repost some of your stuff from Instagram and you get peer and professional coaching so I think this would be awesome because the more learning the better networking events uh, and yeah, I think this would be a really great thing for my channel and for you guys because if I were, was able to review more stuff from like Sephora that I normally can't really buy all the time, I think it just help us all out. <laughs> I'm going to leave a link down below and all you have to do is leave something quick about why you keep coming back to my channel. Um, and yeah, it can be short and sweet. It doesn't have to be anything profound and huge, or it can be. And the only people who see this are the panel of judges. So, okay, I'm going to stop talking, but if you did that, I would so appreciate it. Okay, let's get into the best drugstore highlighters. Cha-ching. The number one drugstore highlighter, I think I just need to get it out of the way because we all know it's like the number one drugstore highlighter unless like you're not really into makeup then you might not know but truly for like the most blinding drugstore highlighter guys it's wet and wild the wet and wild mega glow highlighters you can't go wrong I own I don't know I own like this many of them like a stack of them and they're really thin but today I have my little highlighting palette with them and I already owned like two of these in the highlighter palette but I was like this is so pretty um this was launched around the holiday collection um last year but you can still get some of these shades and they're just they're soft they're pigmented this is all I have on today because I was like let's show them how blinding wet and wild is I saw some like comments on the new master chrome puma people were really sad it was sold out and people were like what highlighter is even like good enough to be as good as the master chromes and I'm like hello hello and it's cheaper it's cheaper and you can buy a bunch of them and they do come out with new colors there is a new color that is on their website that I have not been able to find in store and I really 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 want it. Kendall Alfred actually did like a whole review on it and I was like I need this right now and I couldn't find it in my own Walgreens so I'm really sad but I'll just show you I'll swatch some of the ones that I think for sure are still available like this blossom glow and this flower crown they're so soft it's just ridiculous that this is even drugstore ridiculous it's just like how 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 wet and wild like it's almost like why do we bother even buying high-end I mean these are just so good I mean I'm just obsessed with highlighters so I think anyone that releases a highlighter I'll be like I need that <laughs> but wet and wild all the way now I included their loose powders as well so hold on 
Wet n Wild has a few loose highlighter um, powders and this one that I brought down is in Moon Tears from their Gothographic collection which I think you can get at Walmart still. I'm not really sure but they also have one in written in the... Sh they have a few of these though. I know they have like some solid ones that are going to be I think not limited edition like it's not in any different types of packaging and then they have like two limited edition ones but honestly again like high-end brands are selling these types of highlighters for like $18 and this is like what $6 and it's just as blinding I'm serious it's good so it looks like whatever in here but it's you guys, if you haven't tried the loose powders and you like loose powder formula, it's not for everyone, but if you like the loose powder formula, you need to try the ones from Wet n Wild. They're good. They are real good. Do you see that? Of course, obviously, like, it will kind of dust up some of it. It won't look like that on your face. Like, but it's just... These are really great also for like all over the decollete or all over like for summer if you want some like really shimmery shoulders. But I've been using my loose powder called Written in the Stars from them and I used it in my Valentine's Day tutorial. Fell in love all over again. I was like not really using these that much. Like I swatched them and never really used them again. <sighs> Ever since I used it in my Valentine's Day tutorial, I've been re really obsessed with these. So I'm going to be using these a lot more. So again, from Wet n Wild, Wet n Wild's got you covered with highlighters. I mean, seriously. I might have to do a whole video just covering the different types of highlighters from Wet n Wild because they got a lot. Like, I don't know if they could come out with anything new because they have, like, every single type. They have creams. They have liquids. <laughs> they have powders. They have loose powders. So, I mean... I'm sure they'll blow my mind sometime and be like, hey, we came out with something else too. But for now, these two, though, for sure are my favorite out of the Wet n Wild ones. So, Wet n Wild. Next up, now, this wouldn't be a favorites video without having something ColourPop in it. The ColourPop Super Shocks, I'm saying, are drugstore because they're $8, which is drugstore price. You might not be able to get it at a regular CVS or Walgreens, but you can get it at some Ulta's and you can purchase it online. But these babies are amazing and I just brought one down with me. I don't have a specific favorite. What's really great is they have so many different ones and they come up with so many for collections. It's great. Um, some of them are just shimmer. Some of them have little bits of glitter in it. You just really have to read the description. Um, but this specific one is called Part of Your World from the Disney Collection. And it's just this like light. They're just so soft. I don't think I put any highlighter on my nose so you can see. Like the thing I love about these is that they melt into your skin. Um, they don't look powdery whatsoever because it's not a powder. If you've never used the ColourPop Super Shocks, they're kind of like squishy and soft, more moussey, but not like whipped mousse. It's like a pressed mousse, if that makes sense. Um, and I do like to apply them with my fingers, but they work great with a brush as well. And they might not give you the most blinding and you can get it there. They're buildable too. That's another great thing is you can just be like, oh, I just want a little bit of highlight. And then you can add more to be like, Whoa. or you can top it off with a powder to make it super duper intense. But I love these. The quality is great. And they just give you a wet look and like very natural. Like I'm just glistening. I just had a little bit of a workout just now kind of highlight like dewy. It's more dewy. It gives you the most dewy natural finish and they're just so stunning and they're like really fun to play with so <laughs> ColourPop Super Shock highlighters amazing <sighs> one of my next favorite um drugstore highlighters I'm kind of sad it's one of my favorites because it's one of the most expensive ones at the drugstore it just the quality is amazing and they're beautiful but I think that someone said they, I did a video, okay, let me introduce the product first. The Pixie by Petra highlighters, 
I have both of them. I only brought one down with me because I fell in love with it because it's so good. So I think they used to cost like $16 and now they're like $18. These are so good, but they're so expensive. I mean, that is verging, honestly, like high end right there. And I know Pixie is always more expensive for the drugstore, but I I don't like being like, this is a drugstore highlights favorite, and then being like, this is $18, you know? But they're so soft. They are, they just, they blend into the skin too. Just like, they just melt. They just melt into the skin, and they're stunning. And, well, I'm obsessed. Um, they're beautiful. I've done an entire review on these. If you want to check it out, I'll link it down below too. Pixie by Petra highlighters. This one is in Subtle Sunrise. If you're like, what were those colors though? They're really pretty. I just hate the price. Next up, this brand is a little bit hard to be like, this is my favorite, but it is one of my favorites. Um, this one's not going to give you as super blinding as like this. And it is the Revolution, the Makeup Revolution Triple Baked Highlighter. And this is in Goddess of Love. Now it looks very much like the Too Faced packaging from their Flushed Blush Hearts from a long time ago, which I love those too. Um, but I don't remember how much this was. But Makeup Revolution is like, I'm going to say anywhere from 6 to $8. And it comes in this, like, the, I don't even, I hope this is still available. <laughs> Probably should have checked, but... Why I love this one so much is because out of all my highlighters, I don't have one that gives me this type of look. Now I want to try more Makeup Revolution highlighters. They have all those new beautiful highlighting palettes which I see people use in their videos all the time and they're like, boom, I'm blinding. So I'm sure those are great too. But what I love about this one is it has the most beautiful pearlescent kind of finish so it looks kind of so it feels soft right but it just looks very pearly so it's not so it's not just like white it's not champagne there's kind of a bit of a pinky shift to it like a pearl and it is just really really pretty so if you're looking for like a soft pearly glow this shade is just it's really pretty i use this quite often actually i think i used it almost every day in january i just i really love it you can tell it's like been in like a makeup drawer because it's all covered in like mascara and stuff um but this again is in the shade goddess of love i'm sure the other baked hearts are great as well but this one would be great for fair to medium skin tones and last but not least it is the master crumbs okay so they're a little bit more on the a little bit more expensive side at the drugstore but they're still for they're not 18 dollars worth okay so this is the nikki tutorials one it's actually the only one i own but i do want more colors they look so pretty. I want the Puma one too. I almost bought it from Ulta and then it sold out the next day and I was like, why did I do that to myself? It's so pretty. It is. It's gorgeous. But this is the Nikki Tutorials one. And the thing that drives me nuts is I can't open this all the way. Like I hate showing you product and being like, see, can you see that plastic cap when I'm trying to show you what the product itself looks like so here oh, it's just so soft it's so soft like soft and buttery where can we swatch you I'm running out of space okay. so there is that one this again I feel like people are like it's super intense but I feel like this one's very buildable too like I feel like the wet and wild ones are a little bit better than these. I feel like they give you more of a shocking glow if you're into that and they're less powdery. I feel like these ones kind of have more of a powdery background than the Wet n Wild ones do. And the Wet n Wild ones are cheaper. So if you haven't tried the Wet n Wild ones and you love highlighter, what are you doing? <laughs> So that concludes my top five favorite drugstore highlighters. Don't worry, I plan on filming a top five 
high-end highlighters. I was trying to choose them upstairs and I was like, this one? No, I don't know. Which one's my favorites? I don't know. What will it be? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm pretty obsessed with highlighters. So let me know down below what your favorite drugstore highlighter is and maybe I will have to check it out. And please, 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 if you have the time, please leave me a testimonial. The link is down below. Also, if you have not already, go enter my Instagram 1000 follower giveaway. It ends in like a week or so or less. And um, yeah, all you have to do is go to my Instagram and I have the link there. But if you look for the Disney princess kits, because that's what I'm giving away, um, there is a post about it, what to do. All you have to do is be following me and tag a friend on that post. So it's super simple. And honestly, not that many people have entered it yet. So you have a really good chance. Please thumbs up this video if it was helpful for you. And you all have a wonderful weekend. Bye.